Hello, um, I want to react to Mahe's claim, recent claim. And you know, he's been saying things like that before. It's this is not the first time he said, um, Biafra, uh, but you will not be part of Biafra. Mm. <laughs> you know, um, as a governor of Ebony State, he said it, um, Ebony was better in a fair and um, equitable Nigeria. Uh, that if anybody tells you about Ebony State, will be never, uh, Ebony State will never be part of Biafra. But do, what do we have? Do we have a fair and equitable Nigeria? When are we going to ever have that? Anyway, I see this as a part of desperation we are talking about. Having understood Omahe, Omahe is losing out despite all that he stake to become Buhari's choice for presidency, Igbo presidency in 2023. Omahe is ready to stick more until he gets uh, what he wants. <laughs> it appears Oji Kalo is Buhari's uh, beloved son. Uh, from the look of things, uh, Buhari has um, said over Oji Zokalo, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Other sons like Omahe are desperately trying to please the father. Uh, perhaps the birthright of the senior son or Ojikalo will be given to them. <laughs> Omahe, uh, perhaps uh, you will cook porridge like um, Joseph with that finest ram, a big lamb stew. Buhari likes lamb stew. So, he doesn't joke with lambs too. Meanwhile, uh, the race is still open. I'm very sure Omahe is very much aware he's not speaking for the rest of Ebony people, even as a governor. Uh, he should be reminded that he has some few months to go, or uh, at most one year. Aside to uh, both the governor and the gate man has one single vote each uh, when it comes to a referendum. So until then, I don't think Omahe is qualified to declare if Ebony is Biafra or not, uh, you would be shocked that even parts of Benue, Rivers, and Delta State would want to identify as Biafra when the reality of a referendum showcases. So keep short, Umahe. You can't even decide for your family on that. Your fam some of your family members might choose Biafra. So keep short. <laughs> And I understand that Omahe could have other reasons too for wanting Ebony to remain part of Nigeria's territory. Uh, why he's entitled to his opinion like anyone else? Because his opinion and his opinion is a single opinion. <laughs> I'm very much aware Ebony receives more from the federal post than what the state generates. I think this was part of the reason um, Omahe opposed Nyesong Wiki too on the VAT issue. Uh, the VAT controversy with the federal government. So Omaha's perception is um, that Ebony would be at loss to disconnect from Nigeria. But I think that perception is wrong. Uh, there are lots of um, untapped resources in Ebony that can, uh, that are enough, that are yet to be explored, that can make it um, match what it received from the federal ports. Ebony has several um, solid mineral resources, including lead, crude oil, and natural gas, uh, but few large-scale commercial mines. That will be uh, discussed some other time. Omahe already know this, but most people are like, they want already prepared things. So I just, um, this is just my little take on, um, uh, response on what Omahe said recently, that Ebony cannot, you can't decide for the Ebony or Ebonians. When it comes to time, when the reality of a referendum appears, you realize you just have one vote. You can't speak for the generality of a bony people.